This Sunday in the Soviet Union, a national referendum will be held that could decide the fate of the country and of its leader, Mikhail Gorbachev. Tomorrow night, we will present a special program on the Soviet Union, a prelude to the drama of this weekend's vote. The journal Susan Reisler has assembled rare and dramatic footage from Soviet filmmakers, and she has talked to representatives of the four major nationalities in the Soviet Union. The Kremlin versus the separatists. With sovereignty on the agenda of most republics, repression has replaced persuasion as the tool for saving the union of Soviet republics. The nationalist flames are fueled by the country's pathetic economic performance. Many fear if change doesn't come quickly, the Union could dissolve, leaving chaos and anarchy. Civil war. Civil war is the worst thing that we should No, civil war. War between whom? Why? Between for whom? Instance, between between whom and for what? A rare glimpse into how different nationalists see the crisis in their country. In Azerbaijan, for example, it's a typical civil war. No, it's a, not a civil war. It's it is an interethnic conflict. Actually, I don't want to consider the ethnic conflicts only like ethnic. It's a very narrow view. They have a strong social essence as well. Okay. So it is also a civil war. A glimpse into the failing revolution. That program tomorrow night. And in the days ahead, a postscript to the Gulf War. We will have a documentary report on the international arms trade. Has the world learned the lesson of Saddam Hussein, that today's customer could be tomorrow's enemy? That's our program for tonight. I'm Barbara Frum. Good night.